Apart from being able to create your own reports and view them, Intelligence Reporting Cloud gives you the ability to export and import them so that you can use the same design across your different organizations or share them with other users. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how this is done. I've started up the program and I've gone through to my financials folder. You can see next to each report is the option to export it. By clicking the button, a dialog is first shown giving a brief explanation of the function. Then, after clicking OK, a file with the extension .repdef is created, and depending on your browser, you'll be asked to open it directly, save it to a specific folder, or else it will be downloaded to your default download location. Once downloaded, if you would like to use the report for another one of your organizations, you can sign into Sage 300 again with those credentials, start up Intelligence Reporting, and import it. Or else, if you would like another user to have access to it, you can send it to them via email, for example, and they can import it. Assume now that I've either signed into a different organization in 300 or that I'm a different user who has been sent a report. In both cases, I have the file saved to my desktop. I'm now going to demonstrate how to import it. This is easy. All I have to do is go through to my financials folder and click the Import Report button. Navigate to where the file is saved and select it. I'm then shown a few details about it and am given the opportunity to change the name. I'm not going to worry about this now though. Then, after clicking Import, it is added to the folder. I'm sure you can see how much convenience this handy feature provides. To view other videos in this series, go to youtube.com forward slash sageintelligence. Also, connect with us at sageintelligence.com and sageintelligencecommunity.com. And if you'd like to brush up on your Excel skills, check out our online courses at sageintelligenceacademy.com. Lastly, we love feedback, so if you found this lesson useful, please like it and share it on your social media channels.